my channel. If you are new to my channel, I'm Sadie Ken. And if you are a returning subscriber, welcome back. So as you guys can see by the title and thumbnail today, I'm back again with another story time. But before I get into the story time, make sure you follow my social media, both Twitter and Instagram at Sadiddy Ken. And make sure you follow my business page at Sadiddy Wigs. So I'm going to get straight into the story time because I'm not going to lie to you guys. The time is 8.05. And I need to leave out of class by nine. So I need to make sure I just keep talking so I can get all the details in and get this story time done in time so I can try to somewhat be on time in class. Now, before I get into this, I just I do want to say I actually did post this story time like earlier this week, but I'm not going to lie. I, I looked a mess in that video. You could tell that I had a long weekend, which I did. I will tell you guys a story time about that. Basically, it'll be story time the time I almost got alcohol poisoning. But yeah, you guys could tell in that video that I had a long weekend. So I deleted it after like an hour because I'm like, nah, like I look way too much of a mess. I would rather just be a little inconsistent and have this video up. My hair looked a mess. I looked tired. Of, no, everything about it was just a no. So today I'm back and recording a video and to make up for my little, and to make up for my inconsistency, I'll be posting a video today, tomorrow, and then again on Saturday and then on Monday. And I'll be back consistent. So we're going to get right into this story time. So as you guys can see by the thumbnail and by the title, I am back with another edible horror story, this time Homecoming Edition. Now listen, if you have watched my older videos, you probably know this is not my first edible horror story. So you're probably wondering, Mackenzie, if you keep having edible horror stories, why do you keep doing them? Well, why did I keep doing them? Because, wow, I can't even remember the last time I had an edible. You're probably wondering that. And honestly, I, I don't have an explanation. <laughs> like, really, it was just like the availability of it in my high school. And both of the high schools I went to, they were so easy to get. It was like, why not? And not only that, but school was really easy for me. I graduated with a 4.0 cumulative, and that's with me doing edibles and stuff. So honestly, it was like some type of excitement because school was just really easy. It was so boring. Even when I was in science and tech, it was still like, I don't know how I was going to 4.0, but it was just so easy to do it somehow. But yeah, so we're going to get right into this story time. So this story time took place when I was in 10th grade. And if you saw my older story times, you know that I went to two high schools. I don't feel like I've mentioned it in any story times recently, but I went to two high schools. So this story time took place while I was still at my first high school. It was basically my last homecoming at this high school. So this high school that I went to was really, really relaxed. Like it was just so easy to get into things at that school because how that school was set up, it had so many exit exits and entrance doors. You could easily like leave out the school and come back with ooh, wow, my phone is scared me. You can easily you can easily leave out the school and come back, which to me as a child, I like that because like it's a school was sweet. But as an adult, I can say that is so unsafe, like a school should not be that open. I really hope that they've got better with their security because that was just way too like easy for anybody to come in and out. Like there were literally people who would not even go to the school. They would come in the school like through a back door and be walking through the hallway speaking to people like they're doing a meet and greet. And it's like, why is this school that easy to get into? But beyond that, um, so basically because of how easy the school was to get in and out, there was also, let me say a big, mm, I'm gonna just be real. Looking back, like, it was low-key giving euphoria. Like, everybody in there was high off something. And I'm not just talking about weed. Now, Mackenzie only did smoke weed and edibles. But everybody in there was high off of something. There's people in class who would be drunk. Once again, that was not me. I did not start drinking really until I turned 21 this year. But, yeah, there would just be a lot going on, basically. So, my ninth grade year, basically, is when I started smoking. And then I also started to get edibles. So, this is basically an edible horror story. So, so basically for my 10th grade homecoming, I knew I wanted to be lit, right? But the problem was I knew I was not going to have time to actually, like, I hope y'all can put together what I'm trying to say without saying it just because I don't want YouTube to, you know, pay my monetization for this video. But I knew I was not going to be able to do that before homecoming because my mom was going to be dropping us off. And yeah, like there's just, there's just no way I was going to be able to like walk off in my heels to go do that. And so basically I had no other like opportunity to. So what I decided was I was going to buy an edible for me and my best friend to, um, to have before homecoming and we, well, to have at homecoming. 
So the best friend who I went to homecoming with actually did not go to my school. She went to a different school. She actually went to my second high school that I later transferred to. Me and her are no longer best friends, but it's not like there's any beef. We're basically, like, we honestly just outgrew each other. Like, we were friends since kindergarten, and after a while, like, sometimes you could be friends with someone for that long, but y'all go in different paths and different directions. Not only that, but she was one of those people who would constantly post, I don't have any friends, I don't have any friends. And if you keep posting that, I'm going to show you you don't have any friends. Like, I'm not about to try to stick around and try to make, like, you know, like, why do you keep posting it? Like, you want to be in a relationship posting, I don't have a boyfriend. So if you're going to keep posting, I don't have any friends, okay, bet. I'm going to show you, you don't have any friends. So basically, I invited her to my homecoming because the homecoming at her school sucked and I needed somebody to go with. So I invited her to my homecoming and I, um, we, she came over, basically we got ready or whatever. Um, she actually did my hair and then my god sister did my makeup. I'm going to start pictures because my hair and makeup look so good that year. But yeah, we got ready together. Of course, we took pictures and then we left out to go to homecoming. I remember like as soon as we pulled up to homecoming, my best friend literally dropped her phone and broke it. Like I'm not saying she just dropped her phone and like my phone screen, like it has cracks and stuff in it because I don't have a case and that's really on me. I don't even know if you can see it, but yeah. I'm talking about she dropped her phone and the screen had like lines on it and everything. Like her phone was really broke. So the moment that she broke her phone, I'm like, okay, let's just take this edible right now because I don't want the entire night to be rolling over your phone. And I'm not saying that in like a, like her phone's not important type of way, but I knew the type of parents she had that they were going to replace her phone, which they did. So therefore I'm like, there's no reason for our night to be rolling because your phone cracked. Let's just eat these edibles so we can get lit and basically move on. So I remember uh, even before then, like, so basically she dropped her phone, we're about to walk in, and these boys had walked up to us and they were like, hey, do we smell like weed? And listen, the reason they were asking was because the school was trying to be fake strict, although they know half of the school smoked, but the school was trying to be fake strict and basically said like, if you smell like anything, you want any illegal substances, basically, you will not be able to enter for homecoming. So instead of me just like sniffing around them, because that's obviously what they're going to do when they're coming in. They're not about to be like sniffing everybody closely. Y'all, why did I start getting close to these boys who I did not know? Like, no, I don't, I don't think you smell like weed. Like at that point, it's like, dang, did I have already take the edible at that point? Because I was already acting off. But yeah, that really has nothing to do with the story time. I just wanted to include it because looking back, I'm always like, bro, like Mackenzie, why did you get so close to them? <laughs> those, those boys like that. But anyways, we took the edible and we're waiting in line. What I went to, the homecoming was always kind of crowded um, just because people from other schools would come. There was like two schools in my county where a lot of people would go to the homecoming. School was one, so my school was always crowded. So therefore, the wait in line, I would probably say maybe took about seven minutes, ten minutes. But I feel like for a high school homecoming, it's a little long. Like, it used to be like, I'm there, I get in. But anyways, so we were waiting in line and as we're waiting in line, I started to feel the edible kick in. Like, literally, I already had started to feel the edible kick in. Now, if you know anything about edibles, normally they take about 45 minutes to an hour to kick in. So when I started to feel some things before we even got inside, I was like, oh, yeah, this is about to be a long night. <laughs> so after that, basically, we get inside and I remember I'm starting to feel it. It's not like I'm too lit, but I'm definitely starting to feel a little buzzed. So we stopped to take some pictures. The high school that I went to was really nice. Um, I wouldn't insert pictures, but I don't know. I just feel like I shouldn't. But the high school I went to, like, it really looked nice on the inside. I remember, like, a fight video or something had went viral on Twitter. And people were, like, quoting it. It was like, why does this high school look like a mall? And when I look back, the school really did look like a mall. But, yes, I remember I was taking my pictures. And, like, I was comfortable taking my pictures because I was lit. I'm putting the pictures here on the screen. But, yeah, I remember I was so comfortable taking the pictures just because I was, like, lit. So, like, I wasn't too worried about, like, what everybody else was going to be thinking. Because normally when I'm taking my pictures, I'd be uncomfortable and I'd be nervous. But, yeah, I remember I was comfortable taking my pictures. And then after that, we went inside, basically. So when we first went inside, I'm not going to lie, the music was not it. Like, it was not all that. And I'm like, bro, I know I did not waste my edible on this bad DJ. Another thing I want to say is that one thing I have realized, and I don't know if anybody else like does this, but like in high school, when I bought edible, say I bought that edible on a Friday and I ate it that same Friday, like it would be good, but like, I feel like when I waited another day, like this time I bought that edible like on a, either Thursday or Friday, and then I ate it that Saturday at homecoming, it always seemed like it would be more potent. But yeah, back to 
you know, the actual like timeline of events. Basically at that point we're inside and we're basically just standing off to the side because the music just really wasn't all that. It wasn't cutting it. But also I was taking my heels off. So at the high school I went to, basically the homecoming would be in the gym and the bleachers would be pushed up on the side. So everybody would take their heels off if you had a jacket or whatever else and put that like on the side on the bleachers because let's be real, who wants to stand in heels all night? Like I barely ever even wear heels now and it's crazy because like in high school I would always wear heels to an event. But they're gonna come off. <laughs> But he took my heels off and I put them to the side and we're basically still just like standing there just waiting for a better song to come on. Now I wish I could tell y'all what song came on but to this day I do not remember. But some song came on and you guys, I literally, I grabbed my best friend's hand and drug her out and I remember like saying, oh my gosh, I love this song. And like this was honestly out of my character like people think I'm a quiet and I'm an introvert now. No, like I really used to be quiet and introverted back then. So for me to be dragging her out there like that, that was so out of my character. But y'all, at this point, the edible was definitely kicking in. Like, I don't think I was necessarily high yet, but I was definitely feeling like more loose and more comfortable. So I dragged her out and y'all, I, I, I don't know what happened. I don't know what went wrong. I don't know if I scared her. I don't know if I moved her too fast, but she literally started choking. Like she started choking and I'm pretty sure she was choking on her spit. So at first, like when she's coughing, I'm just like, are you okay? Like, what's what's going on? Oh, I didn't know you had a cold. Like, literally, like, what's going on? But as she kept coughing, I realized, oh, no, this girl is, like, actually choking. So at that point, she dragged me to the other side, and she had sat down and basically was like, girl, I was choking. Like, and I don't know what it is, but me and my sister have this bad habit, especially my sister, of laughing when somebody chokes. And it's really not good, but I have a really bad habit of laughing in situations that I should not be laughing in. So basically I started laughing. Of course, like she wasn't upset. Like it was like a laughing moment. But yeah, so we're at that point, we're sitting off to the side and then until like she basically caught her breath and got herself back together. So once she did that, we went back out <laughs> onto uh, like where everybody was. I was about to say we went back out to the dance floor, but that makes it sound like I'm at a disco. But I guess we went back out to the dance floor and basically, I'm pretty sure they're playing go-go music, if I'm not mistaken. I cannot fully remember, but I know whatever song they are playing, all the boys were, like, beating their feet. Now, if you don't know what, like, beating your feet means, I'm going to put, like, a video or something I find on YouTube up here. But basically, it's kind of like a DMV dance that people do. Now, I cannot do it. I am from the DMV. I have grew up seeing people do it. But can I do it? No, I cannot. However, one thing about it, this edible made me feel like I could and I should try. So I actually forgot to include this, but when I had took my heels off and put them on the bleachers, my mom would always send me with these little fold up flats. And I'm sure y'all know exactly what I'm talking about. They're basically like flats that fold up. And so when you're at an event or something, you have them in your purse, you take the heels off and you put on your fold up flats. So at this point of the night, I had on my fold up flats and my heels are in the bleachers. So all the boys and stuff are beating their feet and Mackenzie decided to let me try. Now, in reality, was I beating my feet? No. I was actually just jumping up and down sporadically. <laughs> but in my head, I thought I was really trying. So basically, y'all, we are doing that. We're jumping up and around. Different songs coming on other than Go-Go. We're like singing the lyrics and all that, right? At some point, my flat literally came off my foot. Like, I cannot make this up. My flat, my shoe came off my freaking foot. At this point, the edible is already kicking in. It's so much going on, the, you know, flashing lights, music playing, endless people around me, and now my flat came off my foot. So at first, like, I'm trying to get the flat, like, I told my best friend, like, my suit fell, and just like how I was laughing when she was coughing, because I didn't think it was that serious, she's, like, laughing too. Then I'm like, girl, no, like, this is serious. Like, seriously, like, we have to get my flat. So we're trying to get the flat. But all the boys around us are like basically jumping around, beating their feet, dancing, all that. So it's kind of like elbows going from every direction. And imagine you're trying to bend down and there's people elbowing. The last thing I needed to was to get elbow in my eye and get a damn black eye over a flat. So we're trying to get the flat. And then eventually we literally lose sight of the flat. Like we literally could not see the flat anymore. It was like, where, where did it go? So after, at that point, we're like, okay, we're going to try going on the outside. Like maybe like everybody dancing, like basically kick the flat out. So we go like on the outside of the crowd. Do you guys think we saw the flat? No. 
And at that point, we could have probably tried to split up. Maybe one of us stay on the inside, one of us on the outside. But remember, like I said, her phone was broken. So at this point, like, I didn't really want us to split up, especially because this is not her high school. She doesn't know many people here other than me. So we're trying to find a flat, and we could not find it. Literally, we, I think we looked around maybe for at least about 10 minutes. At most, we looked around for 10 minutes, and we literally could not find the flat anywhere. So I had to go and put my heels on, which I was really upset about because my feet were already low-key hurting. And um, not only was that, but like, okay, at that moment, my feet may have been like a little okay just because like I was in my flats for a while. But it was just the thought of, I really have to go this whole night wearing heels now? Like, are you serious? So I put my heels on and basically still trying to enjoy the night. I didn't want to ruin it. But not only that, since I'm off my edible, I'm also like kind of not fully thinking about it, but still thinking about it. Still like looking around every now and then like, where's my flat? Is that my flat? Hey, is that my flat? But no, it, it was never my flat. <laughs> so the night continued. Um, I remember at one point, um, I had saw this boy I liked and I had grabbed my friend and was like running up behind him and like, I was silent, so I wasn't even going to say anything. Like, I guess I just wanted to so hurt him. Like, I really could not explain my thinking behind that. But, yeah, that's basically what was going on. Um, We basically were just enjoying the night like it was a normal homecoming. But I'm not going to lie. We did keep on having to leave out just off the strength that my foot was really hurting. My feet, well, yeah, my feet were really hurting. And, um, yeah, like, I just wanted to sit down every now and then because being in heels for an entire night, especially those heels were not comfortable. They're from Fashion Nova. Fashion Nova has the most uncomfortable heels on earth. But, um, yeah, so because of that, we kept on having to leave out. I remember at one point I even tried to convince her to switch shoes with me, and y'all, she was not going for it. And, honestly, I understand. So the night continues and basically the end of the night comes where they turn the lights on. And this was back in the leave out air so like they turn the lights on i'm like oh just scared like y'all my leave i look so so bad that night after like all the dancing and stuff went on so i remember at that point as i'm still looking for my flat i remember her saying she had to go to the bathroom so i was like all right bet you go to the bathroom i'm gonna keep looking for my flat now why we separated when she had no phone i have no idea so i'm going around looking for my flat and at this point i still literally could not find my flat anywhere like i'm looking everywhere and it's like where did my flat go like did somebody take my flat would it be crazy because everybody's shoes in a bleacher you're telling me you decided to steal some a flat over some heels but yeah so i'm looking around and i still don't see my flat so eventually basically i gave up and was like okay it is what it is but now not only do i not have my flat i lost my flat and my best friend so i'm looking around for her i do not see her anywhere i'm like dang like is she still in the bathroom and i wasn't sure i was like okay if i go to the bathroom and she's not in the bathroom anymore then she's gonna come here and i won't be here anymore so i decided at that point you know what let me just stay here and like stay down basically eventually she's gonna leave the bathroom and come here if she is still in the bathroom so it'd just be better if i wait for her here so i waited for her for a while you know and eventually we finally ran into each other you guys we ran into each other and she's like, hey girl, this that boy over there actually found your flat. And um, she actually knew his name. I cannot remember if she knew him before me. I really cannot remember like if she already knew him. And um, I cannot remember if she already knew him from somewhere before or if she met him through me. But either way, she basically said his name is like, yeah, he found your flat. And it's really funny, just a little side story, because I, he was like my crush at the time. And at one point, I really wanted this boy. And it's crazy because he DM'd me like a few weeks ago. And like, I don't know, y'all. It just be feeling good when somebody who's trying to play in my face in high school is like, I would never give you access to me. Like, I would never talk to you again. You're not even my type. But yeah, basically, he's like, she's like, yeah, that boy over there, he found your flat. Or she even said his name. Y'all, I really cannot remember, like, if she knew him. I'm pretty sure I saw her pictures of him, so that's how she knew who he was. But either way, basically, he somehow had found my flat. Now, how he knew it was mine, I don't know. I think he saw her looking for something, and then basically was like, oh, are you looking for this, like, lost suit here? So at that point, I actually was kind of embarrassed because, like I said, I had a crush on him, and it's like, dang, my crush knows I lost my suit. Now, looking back, I don't really see what's embarrassing about it. But at that moment, I was embarrassed, especially because not only that, y'all, but my leave out really looked bad. So at this point, y'all, I just really wanted to leave. 
Um, also, at this point, I kind of was over the whole walking in heels thing. So I'm pretty sure I kind of like took my heels off and I was kind of like limping around on one foot. And then I would like pause and like hold on to the wall for a moment when I started losing balance. So yeah, honestly, now I said that out loud, it does make sense why I was embarrassed. I was down bad. So after that, finally, I had my flats, put my flats on. Although I didn't have my heels on anymore, my feet were still killing me just because most of that night, I literally was standing in uncomfortable fashion over heels. So after that, we went out to the car and I remember my mom was like, Mackenzie, like, how long did you have your heels on? Like, you look like your feet hurt. And I tried to play it off like, yeah, I had my heels on for a lot of the night, but obviously I'm not about to tell her like, yeah, I had my heels on for most of the night because I was on an edible and I lost my suit because of it. And then after that, I really couldn't find it. Um, we probably were overlooking it, but we were just too lit to even really see where it was at. And yeah, <laughs> so basically I just had to, I basically, I just played it off like, yeah, I just had my heels on. And she, I do think she asked me like why I kept them on for so long. But once again, I'm not about to answer that. So I just like, well, you know, I just wanted to keep them on, you know, at first my feet didn't really hurt. So I remember she was like asking me a lot of questions. And at that point, I'm kind of like slumped in the seat. Like, I'm kind of like, okay, girl, like talking a little bit too much. Now, my best friend says that I said to her, like, you're asking me too many questions. Now, listen, I don't remember saying that. I feel like if I said that, she would have got upset. But I don't remember saying that, but I do remember, like, it was just like, dang, she really is asking too many questions. I also remember, like, when I was in the car, I was literally dozing off, and we had to go drop my best friend off at home that night, and I definitely, or did I, yeah, we had to go drop her off, I'm pretty sure, and I definitely was dozing off on the way, because at that point, y'all, it was just like, my body was, like, shutting down, like, it's like, I was, like, had so much adrenaline and everything else, but once I found my flat and got in that car, my body was tired. So yeah, that is basically a little quick edible homecoming horror story. Literally got too lit and lost my freaking suit. Like literally, because if I was sober, I would have knew like, Mackenzie, don't do too much jumping. You don't have on real suits. Like you have on photo away flats. They're going to come off. But I was not thinking about it that time. I was just thinking, oh my gosh, let's get lit. Not only that, but the sober me also was not even that comfortable with like dancing around and stuff. So that's how I also know my flat would have came off if I was sober. But yeah, that is just a little quick story time for you all. Hope you guys enjoyed this video. I'm sorry that it's just a little short story time. I know y'all love my long story times, but that is okay because I have a really, really juicy story time that's gonna be posted on Monday. Yeah, that video's gonna be coming on Monday. I have, I'm not even gonna say what I have coming up, but I just have some good videos coming up. Thank you guys so much for, let's see how many subscribers I'm at this very moment. Thank you guys for 1,105 subscribers. Wow, I'm so excited that this quick, I made it to 1.1K when I just made it to 1, 1K. So I'm hoping before this year ends, we will make it to 1.2K. But thank you guys so much for watching. I will see you guys in my next video. Hope you guys have a good day or a good night whenever you're watching this. And goodbye.